All right, so the problem reads that we have to examine the trapezoid and complete the following statement. So we have to find the value of k and the measures of these four angles, as well as state the interior angle sum of the trapezoid. All right, so what we should notice right away is this trapezoid has two right angles, here and here. And we know that right angles have a measure of 90 degrees. Now, this angle right here is x, y, z. So we can say the measure of angle x, y, z is equal to 90 degrees as is this angle, angle W, Z, Y. That is also 90 degrees. All right, so we know that this angle and this angle added together is a total of 180 degrees. Now, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral, and any quadrilateral has an interior angle sum of 360 degrees. So if these two angles are 180, we can take away 180 from that total of 360 and see that we still have 180 degrees remaining, which means this angle and this angle are 180 degrees total. But as you can see, one of these is obtuse, meaning greater than 90, and one of them is acute, meaning less than 90. But we do know that these together add up to be 180 degrees. So what we're going to do is take both of these expressions and add them together. We're going to say that 10k plus 5 and 5k minus 5 is equal to 180 degrees. Basically, these two angles are supplementary angles. All right, so let us go ahead and simplify this expression a bit. We have 10k plus 5k, which is 15k. We have positive 5 and negative 5, which are opposite integers. So when you combine those, that's 0. So we don't have any constants left. So we just take 15k and set that equal to 180 degrees. Now, to solve for k, we have to divide the coefficient by itself. We have to divide the other side by 15 as well. That gives us k is equal to whatever 180 divided by 15 is. So we just go to the side and divide that by 15. All right, 15 doesn't go into 1, but it goes into 18 once. And if we take one group of 15 from 18, that is 3. Bring down the 0, and 15 goes into 30 twice. So k is equal to 12. So we're going to put 12 in this blank right here. That is the value of k. Now, that's going to allow us to find the measure of W, X, Y, which is this angle right here. Now, we can see that W, X, Y is represented by this expression here, 10K plus 5. So what we're going to do is take that expression, and we're going to replace K with 12, because K is equal to 12, and, of course, add 5. So we have 10 times 12, which is 120, plus 5 is 125. So that's how many degrees WXY is equal to, 125. Now, we know from earlier that these two angles are supplementary. So this angle here, XWZ, will be added to 125 to make 180, and that would give us a total of 55 degrees. Now, if we add all four of these interior angles together, that would give us a total of 360 degrees.